Greetings to the viewers of this video. In this video, we are going to see the reason why most of the drugs are injected into a vein, but not into an artery. The first and foremost reason to inject a drug into a vein rather than an artery is that the arteries are full of blood under high pressure. If injection is given from artery, due to excessive pressure inside the arteries, the blood may outflow, that will result in blood loss. Since arteries have higher pressures, you will need active power, or pressure-assisted injection, and gravity-assisted infusers, will be useless. Like an intravenous fluid bottle, connected via intravenous line. If you connect a non-pressurized intravenous fluid to an artery, it will start flowing back towards the bottle instead of going into the body. In addition, arteries are deep while veins are superficial. Injecting a drug deep enough into the body to hit an artery can be highly dangerous. It may lead to necrosis of that particular tissue and may even lead to amputation in some cases. Also, the arteries are smaller in diameter than compared to veins. There is only one artery supplying a limb but more than one veins draining the same area. If you inject a drug in an artery, except in root of aorta, all the injected drugs will go through one specific organ the artery supplies, in high concentration, and lot of drugs will be absorbed in that tissue, leading to local overdose, or toxicity, or blockade of capillaries. Some drugs, example, Thiopentone sodium may cause severe arterial spasm or precipitate in artery, leading to stoppage of blood flow to that particular organ and leading to necrosis, ischemic death of supplied area. Beyond all these disadvantages, injection into an artery is carried out for the cancer patients. Some of the anti-cancer drugs are injected into the femoral or brachial artery. This gives a very high dose of chemo to the tumor, but less to the rest of the body. That's all about the topic. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Greetings.